Hello everyone, I'm, I am Kai Wetting, and this is my magazine pitch for Talk Water Up. Our purpose, our purpose is to help fans learn about their favourite artists, likes and dislikes and where they perform, and it's also to entertain and make the magazine really fun to read from as well. Our form, our, our form will be a softback cover, will be 28 pages and we'll be ma making it with recyclable glossy paper, which would look nice and it'll be easier to flick through and everything. And on the website, we'll have interviews with artists so fans can go on there and look at it and then just be intrigued. And we'll have sections such as the shop, subscriptions, accounts, articles, just so our fans can actually buy the magazine online. Genre. The actual genre of the magazine is alternative British rap. This is a sub-genre of hip-hop and it's popular within young people all around the UK and in North London. And it's pop. And lots of our tar target audience can relate to the lyrics, which is why it's popular. Content. The content that will be in the, in, the, in the magazine are articles about artists and their likes, likes and dislikes out, out, outside of music as well, and their opinions on things gotten from past in interviews. We'll also have quizzes to make it very enjoyable for the, reader, for the fans to read from so they can interact with it and everything. We'll have ad advertisements to actually um, promote all like the music shops and stores selling it and we'll have I interviews as well that the fans can watch and everything. The name of our magazine is Talk Water Up and this is a, mo and this is a mo mood board I have created with the artists, their album covers and some streaming platforms such as Spotify and SoundCloud where the, where the fans can actually listen to the music. These, these, these are the sketches I've drawn, such as the front, front cover and the double page spread, and this is what it would look like as a sketch. And here are my di di digital sketches, such as the front cover and the thing, that I've made on um, uh, Photoshop. So, loyal corner, loyal corner. Uh, you can see the QR code, all the featuring artists, the path, everything. These are the font choices I have created. So. The one on the left is used for the title, the maths, and the path, and the strap, strap line slash, slash skyline. Um, the cover lines, which is in the middle, will be used for the cover lines, the by lines, and overall because it's no, no, noticeable and loud. And the one on the right will be for the body copy, such as the, such as the main article, and it's very sophisticated, so it's e easier for the young audience to read from. The colour scheme will be black, grey, maroon, red, and orange, and ye yellow and orange because they're very contrasting colours and they're dark and bright at the same time so it's easier for the young people and it's better for their eyes. Our target audience, so our primary target, target audience will be 14 to 25 British male and they're young so it relates, to the, it relates to the lyrics of the songs. And the secondary audience will be aged 30 to 45 which will mainly be the parents of, of the primary audience and it'll be the males as well. Our resources and personnel. For, for the resources, we'll, we'll need a camera to take to take pictures of, of the models, so, software such as Photoshop to actually edit the magazine, and a laptop or a computer to actually use the, the software on. For the per personnel, we'll need a photographer to actually take the pictures and use the camera, and an editor to actually edit the whole mag magazine and make sure all the articles are good, so punctuality is right and everything. Um, printing company to actually print out the magazine and send it off to the shops to sell. A graphic designer to make sure everything's good in the magazine to actually design all of the way that the brief says. And the writer to actually write the articles in the, in the magazine. Our competition will be ma magazines such as XXL, The Source, Wrap Up, Complex, as, as you can see from all of these, with Tyler the Creator, Meek Mill, all of these pop, pop, popular artists. Pricing. Hard, hard copies of, of, of the magazine will be £4.25 4 each. And the, and the digital copies will be £2.70 £2 each. And to get a subscription for this magazine, you have to pay £25 a, month, a year. And as well as receiving a magazine, you will get a poster with the head headlining artist of that month. So if one month I was selling a, a, lo a loyal kind of ma magazine, the customer will get a loyal kind of po poster with it. For distribution, be, we, we will be selling the magazine in supermarkets, news agents and music shops and also online where, the, where it will be shipped to the customer. And our, di and, and our di digital copies will also be bought online but with a QR code so fans can use their phone or laptop or computer and just scan it so they can use it portable, so they can use it on trains, on the way to school, on the way to work. 
everything. Marketing. Our, our unique sell selling point is that every, every person that buys a hard copy of the ma magazine will be entered into, into a chance to get a free three, three month Spotify pre premium subscription, which would be free music, no advertisements, which will be good because who doesn't want free music, am I right? And promoting our magazine, lastly, we'll, we will promote it, we'll, we'll be promoting it on so social media such as TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, and also we'll be putting posters all around the UK such as London, just so we can stick it on so it's not much cost. And yeah, thank you for listening. Any questions? There we go. Can you hear me? Yeah? yeah. Excellent. That's okay. Sorry, it was, uh, your, your feed was cutting out a little bit there, so it was actually a little bit hard to, um, to hear now and again. No, that was, that was really good. Thank you very much. That was sort of fast and short and to the point, which is always good. Um, can we go back to the form part of your presentation, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, let's have a look at that. So I'm just following you on my own version. Okay, it sort of says, right, so the physical magazine says 28 pages. Yes. And the price point you told me a bit later on is £4.25. Does that, does that sound sort of, do you think that sort of marries up quite well? Because it feels like 28 pages doesn't feel like quite very much. Oh really? Oh. Um, four four pound twenty five seems like quite a lot for twenty eight pages. I don't know what that is per page, but you know it feels quite expensive. Okay, yeah, that's right. I didn't really. I thought I thought I thought it was an okay price, but yeah, you're right. You know, if you think about it, I mean, sort of, you know, if we jump back to the pricing as well, you know, yeah. you talk about it's four pound twenty five, and then the subs are sort of are really cheap. So to, to as a as a subscription, I think it was sort of twenty seven or twenty five pounds, something like that. Yeah. For a, a year, which is you know that's that's great, that's that's super cheap. So I think you just need to be sort of clear about how your pricing is going to work in that's relation right. to what you're actually offering. So what what is the, the physical thing that you are going to give people, or what is the digital version that you are going to give people? Is there going to be sort of you know a difference? Is there going to be? I mean, what's the quality going to be? Is it going to be something that you know actually is a bit throwaway and is kind of cheap and cheerful, or is it going to be something that sort of actually people might want to collect and keep? So I think, you know, just think about that. Cool. Um, can we go on to the name as well? Because this is the thing that's really kind of intrigues me the most, the name of your magazine. So on, on this slide, all you've got is the name. So can you explain again to me what the, what, what that is? How okay, you so come to that name? Because it's really, it's really different. Oh, so it's talk, talk, alt, rap, which is like, the talk for the for the whole magazine, so the fans will be reading the the articles and stuff. And alt meaning alternative, which is like British yeah. alternative rap, which is the genre. And okay. then rap. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. It's a very it's one of those sorts of names that you sort of think when I first when I first read it, I thought that's actually quite hard to say. Talk alt rap. It's it doesn't sort of flow. Yeah. Okay. Having said that, I actually quite like it because it doesn't flow, because it's weird and it's interesting and it's different. Unique. Yeah, it's not it's not a straightforward kind of, you know, rack mag or something. Yeah, it's not obvious. Yeah. So I think there's something there. There's definitely something there that you can use that you could really sort of work on and work at. But I think you just need to be a bit more have a bit more of a story, a bit more of a narrative about the about the name. Because yeah. I mean, obviously, it, it does make sense, you know. Yeah, we're talking about alt rap. That's fair enough. That's it. Yeah. But it feels like there should be more to it than that. Yeah, okay? I get what you mean. So yeah. this is just something to think about. Um, what else have I got? Excuse the noise in the background. There. Well, I'm just fine. having to work that out. Um, mm. Yeah, I think this is all good. The mood board I thought was a little small as a presentation. Oh really? It's almost like you're, if you go to the, the, the next the next slide. Oh yeah. It's, it's like the, the mood board is smaller than the title of the slide. <laughs> yeah, so I get it's it. kind of because <laughs> I mean it sort of takes up less space. It's like okay, yeah. go on, and then you've got the actual mood. I think it needs to be swapped around. I think you just need to be, you know, th there's quite a lot going on, which is great, and I think you pick some interesting images. There probably needs to be a little bit more variety in your mood board. Um, because at the moment, the predominant is predominantly just pictures of artists. I mean, obviously, we've got SoundCloud and Spotify there. Um, 
well, I think it needs a little bit more work and it certainly needs to be a bit more dominant on the page so that, you know, the person you're presenting to can get more of a, a taste of what's going on. Yeah, 100%. So if we go on to the drawn sketches, the next one. Yeah, sure. I think this is, this is something that, I hate to say it, but this is something that you probably could have left out. Okay. Or, better, done it so that it's not been drawn on lined paper like this. Yeah, true. I think, you know, sketches are great, and sketches are very, very useful for showing a layout super quick, yeah? So you yeah. can just draw a very quick scan and just say, right, okay, we've got the title, and we've got block of text here and an image there, and, you know, some advertising here, and it's, it literally should just be rectangles and lines, uh, maybe a little bit of text. You don't have to try and sort of draw it out exactly. I think this is this is kind of a mistake that's sort of being made a lot, is that the, the level of detail comes when you actually create the mock-up. Yeah. This isn't about the detail, this is about layout. This is about finding out how all the elements that create the magazine will sit together on a page nicely in the way that you kind of want. And if you draw them out, just make sure that you draw them on something plain. Just yeah. a plain bit of paper, Without the without the hole punches in them, and and I think that would just serve you a lot better. Okay. Cool. Thank you. When you go to your digital sketches, however, things do serve you better because they are they do bring it to life a bit. I like the fact that you've used actual photography in there. I like the fact that you've used some sort of you know interesting uh, interesting approaches to typography. It, it's kind of it's different. It's nice. It's it's good to see. So I think this is this is kind of the upside and the downside of the previous slide, um, slide, if you know what I mean. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it's like upgraded okay. version. Cool. Oh, okay, so that's good. That's that's really you know that's really strong. Uh, so uh, your font choices again. Um, I like I like the, the choice that you of font that you've used for your title. I think that kind of works. I think you could probably make more of it. I'm not sure it's bold enough. I think maybe it sort of you could work bigger, okay, sure. especially on, on if you look at your previous the digital sketches. How sort of that's the title font is kind of laid back. Yeah, and that's because of the choice of colour and the background that it's sitting on. So if, if you compare that to the work featuring, if you go back to the, the previous slide, like compare that tall book wrap title. To the word featuring. Which one is bigger? Which one gives you which one do you see first? Feature. Featuring. So which one do you want to see first? Talk or rap. The title. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. that's the brand. So I think that's the thing that you have to look at. You have to sort of decide how you use those fonts. Is it because they're bigger? Is the colour wrong? Is that sort of treatment? Is the background sort of the, the contrast isn't enough? There's lots of different choices that you can make that will affect how that comes across visually, okay? So it's just something to think about sure, in that you. respect. Yeah. Um, all the others, great. The, if you go to the font slide, next one, uh, and we look at the body copy. The body copy, I think, is the weakest part of this because it just feels a bit like, well, okay, well, I'm just going to use Times or Garamond or whatever this is. Um, um, you, 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 you haven't told me any of the names of the, the, the typefaces that you actually chosen, which is something that I'd like to see. Oh, okay. um, yeah. It's just, again, it's detail, and detail's important. Yeah? It, and I, I just sort of question whether the body copy choice fits with the overall tone and feel of the magazine, because it feels quite classical, it feels quite sort of grown up, um, and possibly a bit like it's sort of, you know, that, that would sit very well in a newspaper or in a novel. Yeah. You know, it's sort of, so I just wonder whether that, that choice, maybe you can go and look and just, just question it. There's nothing wrong with that. There's, it's all good. So, you know, make a choice, step back, take a bit of time, go back to the choice and kind of look at it and say, is that actually right? Does it work? Does it sit with, does it, does it reflect the brand properly? Does it reflect the content? Yeah. It's all up to you, but it's something to think about. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, can we go to the target audience? So, Five. Well, colour scheme is good, by the way. Um, yeah, oh, thank you. you. You mentioned, so your, your primary audience, 14 to 25, that's fine, get that, that's not a problem. Secondary audience, you said 30 to 45. And then it says parents or caretakers of primary audience. Wow. So 
So I don't know. I mean, that, that there's, that, it doesn't feel like that's a parental age, a 30 year old and a 40 year yeah. kind of, I'm not sure that's right. Yeah. I might be wrong, no, and I might like, be old fashioned or something, uh, but it feels like you probably need to take that parents or caretakers of primary audience out. It's just an older audience. It's just, you know, el- older people. They might be less likely to like this sort of music, but they do like this sort of music, you know? There is there is a big audience for, for rap. So I think that was the one thing that I looked at and I thought, parents, really? Not that makes me feel really old. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, um, I think everything else was pretty good. We talked about pricing, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, can we go to the unique selling point? It's kind of your last slide, I think. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So if we have a look at that. So the chance to win three, uh, free three month Spotify premium. That's cool. Free music. Can you expand on the free music bit? So, um, for me, please. oh, because when, when you get um, spot, spot, Spotify Premium, you just get, like, so you can listen to music freely without having to bother with... Right, so it Spotify. is the Spotify thing that's free. It's not like we're yeah. going to give you access to, I don't know, special unreleased sort of tunes or stuff like that. <laughs> no, no, like, um, uh, the Spotify thing li- li- link- links in with all of the... So cool. Right, okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, because that feels like an advert for Spotify. Yeah. Rather than an advert for your magazine. Oh. Okay. See where I'm coming from. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. This. Yeah. Yeah. So I think <laughs> I think it's kind of it's great, and I, I like the idea of it. It'd be nice if it was a year. I think three months is quite oh, not great. Yeah, I get what you mean. But I think so, so. Your unique selling point, I don't think, is necessarily a competition. I think your unique selling point, I mean, if we go back to the, the right to the beginning um, and talk about alternative British rap, can you expand on what that is to me, a, a complete sort of novice oh, when it comes well, to, to that sort of thing? Oh, wow. So yeah. just explain to me what, what, you, what you think alternative British rap is and why that's different. Alternative British rap is, so re- regular British rap is more like kind of hard and like heavy on, on the person, if, if you know what I mean. But this, but this like the beats in the background of the, of the lyrics are more kind of mellow and more with like, in, or more with like in, instruments rather than like okay. making a beat, if you know what I mean. So if we go to your competition slide, I know I'm making you jump around a bit, but this is something that actually I'm really interested in. Okay, so in your competition, how many of those magazines there kind of really cover this side of rap? Are, are, are any of them focused on this sort of thing? Any of the focus? Um, yeah. Not really, but it's kind of in like a it's kind of in like a whole kind of rap bubble because there aren't really many. Because I think because I thought I mean I might oh, yeah. I might be entirely wrong. But I almost feel like that. Your, your genre, your, your absolute sort of genre, your pick of music could be your USP. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, you know, it's, it's like, different. It's, it's very, like, you know, it's not kind of a broad spectrum. It's very, very niche. It's like, this is it because, and this is the gap in the market. And that's our unique selling point is mm-hmm. the fact that we yeah. cover something that others, other magazines only touch on. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I think that possibly, you know, I know this is a long-winded way of sort of taking you around the houses to get to what I was talking about, but I think maybe that could be your USP. I don't know. It's a good idea, yeah. It's up to you entirely. But it, again, like I said, it's sort of a million times before. It's just something you can think about, something to take away, something to consider. Okay? Yeah. Well, apart from that, all good. Yeah, good presentation, very confident. So fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Kai. Well done. Okay.